Fishing the surf can be very productive this time of the year. As the temperatures drop, the fish become more active, especially Papano. And this time of year, we get strong winds that brings up the surf, makes it a little rough, which makes the surf fishing a lot better, as you can see here. Fishing around deep holes around sandbars will give you the best opportunity to catch these fish, like sandbars like this. Placing baits right behind these sandbars will increase your odds of catching fish. So let's drop some baits in the water and see if we can catch some fish. Let's get it. Today we got some nice peeled gulf shrimp right here. Gonna thread her on there, like so. Then I got a piece of pink, I mean a green fish gum right here. I put that on there. We got a pretty strong, clean surf set. It's clean, it's not bad. But uh, a lot of people like fishing, surf fishing in little rougher conditions like this. Stirs up the surf, gets the fish fired up. Plus we got a front coming in tonight. So we're gonna hope. This is some uh, Lost Key Outdoors I got this thread from. Get this bait out here as quick as possible. Get on a good bite. This is a 12 foot ninja dagger. I'm gonna get this bad boy wide out there. Come on now, why is he getting so close? boy went far all right first bait is out let's see if we can get a, get a fish five minutes later not sure what it is it's running towards the beach though I think it's a pompano yeah I think it's a pompano we might be on the same one Oh, a school just went through. Here we got tango lines. Let's go, baby. I got a tango line. Let's go. Get up. Get up. We tangled up, but first popping out on the beach, baby. Are we no we're not tangled? Okay. This guy's tangled up in all my lines right here. He just put sand all in my face. All right, guys, we just got our first pompano of the day. He's flinging sand on me, though. He's definitely legal. I do not have to measure him. He's probably 13, 14 to the fork. I'm gonna put him in the cooler. Fresh pompano day. Woo! Fresh pomp. Fresh pomp. Oh yeah. Oh my God, I don't know what I hook. I got fish on guys right here. I'm not sure what it is. I think it's, I hope it's a pompano. That's the goal today. Uh, that big one's fine. It's gonna have to dump over big time and scream drag. Got a fish here. Hoping that it catch. It is a pompano, is it? Let's go. No, it's a jack. Got a little jack of it. That's bait right there. That's shark bait. All right, guys. Second fish of the day. A nice little jack of it. Don't mind it because I do need some fresh shark bait. This little guy right here. We'll make unbelievable shark baits. Fresher the better. I got some mole out there right now. But beautiful Jackaville. Gonna put him in a cooler too for a cast out shark bait. Let's go. He's running the beach. Running the beach. There we go. Please be a pop, please be a pop.
It don't really feel like one, but we'll see. Oh, maybe. Maybe. Yep. Oh, nope. Two little jacks. Thought it was a pump. We're catching these little jack of L's. Which kind of sucks, but I'm not mad because these are good, amazing bait. So I'm going to put these in the, the cooler. I definitely needed some more cast out baits. I'm not going to say no to this. That's for sure. But we got some more fresh shark bait, so can't complain. Fish on, guys. That feels like a pompano. Come on. Be a pomp. Be a legal pomp. Oh, yeah. Come on. Come on. Oh, not the wave monster. Feels like a pomp. It's running the beach like a pomp. Come on, come on, come on, let's go! Another one. Pop master. Let's go! All right guys, pop number three hit the sand. He is legal, I'm sure I'm gonna measure him just in case. It gotta be 11 to the fork. But he ate green fish gum and uh, OP shrimp on, uh, on a green float, I believe it was. I'm gonna measure him just to be sure. Move my fresh shrimp out the way. Boom! Legal! Let's go! So I was rebaiting a line and my rod started getting hit. So I told my buddy Carrie to grab it. And I wish I didn't because he caught a species I've been dying to catch off the beach for a long time. Check this out. Could be a pompano. It ain't a big one though, is it? Uh, oh yeah, that's a good popping, okay? Yeah, you prime it. Carrie, let's go! You're welcome. <laughs> Woo! Carrie ended up sick. Carrie ended up getting my rod for me and ended up catching this beautiful permit. Oh man, heck yeah, good job for catching cook. Okay. You want you want my you can have one of my pompano if you want to. Let's go. Carrie Carrie got his first permit on my rod. I caught one before, but this is a nice one, isn't it? Nice. I never caught one of them. You want before. a picture of it? Alright guys. Just got a beautiful permit. I didn't actually I was sitting baiting up a rod, my rod went off and I yelled at my buddy Carrie to grab it and he grabbed it and ended up catching this beautiful permit on a ninja dag eleven foot on a rattle rig, man. I never actually ate one of these before. I actually want to take it home and do a little catch a cook with this. Let's see how good it tastes. I'm going to compare it to popping on permit. See which one tastes better. But I'm going to put them in the cooler. Bleed them. Awesome, man. Look at that thing. All right, guys. We caught this beautiful permit on the beach. Don't have my fillet table right now. I do have this amazing toadfish cutting board with their, their foldable knife. And it also has a sharpener on it. And I'm going to clean this fish for a catch and cook on my YouTube video. But I'm also going to do this with toadfish right here. And we're going to clean this uh, permit. I'm going to clean it just like I do uh, pompano. Cut on edge. The edge is just like this. This knife is super sharp. They got a lot of head meat in this, I just noticed. I'm gonna cut through this bad boy. I've not cleaned one of these before. Almost too sharp, but that's the permit. Just cleaned. Did a pretty good job. Missed a little bit of meat right here, but this is actually my first time cleaning one, so I'm not too shabby. I'm gonna skin this guy out. I'm gonna, we're gonna try it out. I'm not gonna do something crazy, catch a cook. I'm gonna put a little bit of season on it. I just wanna try to see what this permit tastes like. I'm gonna cut them pin bones out right in the middle. So when I go down the middle of the fillet, it'll come right out. And it's nice and flexible. This is a great fillet table knife to have. Um, like on the go, and boom, miss the meat. 
There we go, got our fillets right here. And we'll take this in the kitchen, cook it up, and that's the bloodline that's cut out. All right, guys, we have our fresh permit right here. As you can see how white it is, I did bleed the fish, and it resembles pompano, like almost 100%, but uh, I think pompano is a little more dense. This is a little lighter color, but uh, we're gonna try a little, do a little catch and cook, like I said earlier. I'm gonna try a couple pieces with just, you know, just plain fish, maybe a little bit of salt and pepper, but then I'm gonna add a little bit of uh, kinder seasoning, some buttery steakhouse, make a fish sandwich out of it, and see how I like it. So I'm gonna use this piece, I'm gonna try just to taste it, see what it tastes like, and then we'll season the rest of this. So I got some buttery steakhouse, seasoned generously on all sides of the fish. I already got my pan on the oven preheating right now with some olive oil. Pat that down and we'll get both sides of the fish. The texture of this meat looks very dense. Looks like it's gonna taste pretty good to me. I'm excited to try it. Some people don't like the eating permit. They say it's a game fish, but I'm gonna try it. I know a lot of people that do eat it and it's, they say it's pretty delicious, so I'm excited to try it. All right, we got a pan heated up, ready to go. That's gonna be the salt and pepper piece right here. I'm gonna put our other pieces of fish in there. All right, we're gonna let it cook for about two or three minutes on each side and get ready to make our sandwich and try that piece right there. All right, guys, we got our fish straight from the pan. This is the season with the buttery steakhouse. This is just salt and pepper right here. I wanna give it a try. Never had a uh, permit before, so not bad. Tastes like almost like pompano, just like it. I mean, the same texture almost, really dense white meat. Not bad at all. I got some toasted brioche buns right here. I'm gonna make me a fish sandwich out of this. I'm gonna uh, add some fresh tartar sauce that we made, or my wife made. Put it on both sides. I'm gonna add a piece of fish right to it just like that. Some fresh tomatoes. And some, of course, these pickled onions that I love adding on everything. Put that on top. There's a sandwich. Let's get a bite. That is really good. Mm. I'm a big fan of permit. If I catch another one, I'll probably keep it. Um, very delicious, especially making a sandwich, man. You can't go wrong with some kinder season on fish. I enjoyed it. Really good. I'm gonna finish eating this sandwich. I appreciate you guys watching. And I'm gonna get to eating this fish.